welcome beautiful people to the channel thank you so much for tuning in this is Tyler and today the hot list returns and it's back with a vengeance that's right ladies and gentlemen over the next few minutes we are going to be reviewing the top 10 hottest sports cards for the month of September so grab your popcorn and a brewski because by golly, it's about to be a scorch fest in here with all this cardboard eye candy that's about to pop out of your screens. And if you know what I'm throwing out there, smash that little thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel right now, failure. Because you're not going to want to miss this. Because you might be able to make a little bit of money off of what I'm going to be talking about here. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, before I jump into the top 10... I am going to throw out an honorable mention because in this hot list, I do focus predominantly on those cards that are PSA graded as a benchmark so that we can do some comparisons. But because there's new product out there in 2022 and there's not a lot of it out there that's graded, I am going to throw in some honorable mentions for some of these cards that have actually shown some appreciation over time. One of those being... The 2022 Bowman Chrome Sapphire Jackson Churio card that has really crept up since the product launched. Uh, for those of you that don't know, this product came out right around the beginning of June, middle of June. So we're seeing the first couple of sales in about the second week or so of June. And this card has slowly risen from really being right around a $20, $30, $40 dollar card around launch to stabilizing uh, or shooting all the way up to around $70 to $80 dollars in August once the uh, Jackson was promoted. And it's come back down to earth just a little bit. But just for the past couple of sales in September were hovering right around $60 per card. So this card is one that has doubled in value just in the quick short months, which in this market, any card that can actually increase in value, whoo, 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 boy, you're going to want to know about it. All right. So let's go into the official top 10 list, baby. And we are going to be starting off on fire with 2001. Topps Chrome Traded Albert Pujols PSA 10 Rookie. By golly, this is a card that has been really tricking up over the past couple of months and, and years. It's been a, pro a card that is stable uh, even through the pandemic. So Pop 393, this is a card that has been trading recently right around the $2,500 range. If we look at the graphs that show this historical valuation, crazy just how much of a pandemic effect this card uh, experienced. But this has been a stable card in the three to four hundred dollar range for really its lifetime. But then pandemic happens, values shoot up, uh, and it's somewhat been stable. Uh, I, the reason why I include this on the hot list is if you look at some of the most recent uh, completed listings on eBay, uh, this is a card that has been tricking, uh, uh, ticking up for those completed sales. Now, there is another Topps Chrome card out there. It is the Topps Chrome, the official Topps Chrome card number uh, 596. It was a late edition, so it doesn't look like it's chrome, but I promise you it is chrome. That was the first, but for some reason, the top traded chrome has been the preferred card to get because it actually does look like a chrome card. Coming in at number nine, and guys, this is pure speculation. I've talked about Jalen Hurts in other videos and future videos that will be released. But it is Jalen Hurts 2020 Panini Prism Silver Prism PSA 10. There's apparently a lot of discussion and a lot of hype coming out of Eagles training camp, which is what happens every single year. His Silver Prism is now getting close to right around a $600 mark, which is something that we have not seen. If we go all the way back to whenever the season ended on this card, which is a Pop 160, by the way, if we go back to look at the graphs, we're seeing that this card really ended the year right around that 370, low 400 range. Uh, once we started getting into the off season, we saw a couple sales even below the 300 mark, but we're already back up closer to $600 just in a short period of time. This really highlights the, the hype that can be built up in a preseason and really highlights the market cycles of when to sell this is not the time to buy football cards this is the time to sell because speculation is running rampant and Jalen Hurts is not going anywhere this year uh, so this is a card that's on the hot list but if I were to predict it being in the hot list at the end of the year that is a big fat no 
Coming in at number eight, we're sticking with football and we are sticking with Prism as that is a benchmark and it is Josh Allen's 2018 Panini Prism rookie card. Now, you're not going to see a lot of football players on here, but Josh Allen is definitely going to be one that is getting a lot of buzz. A lot of people are talking about him at the National reportedly. He's the guy that people are putting a lot of money in and a lot of faith in. And if you look at his Panini Prism PSA 10, it is still above a $700 card. It's even higher than PSA's price guide, which typically means that the card has been tricking up because price guide has not caught up with it. Pop 1600, still relatively low by modern standards. Uh, if we look at the valuation of this card, Kind of difficult to say, but it's been in the 500 range all off season. Some $600 sales, but it is tricking up. And the reason why it's included is really volume. There's a lot of volume in this card again because there's six, 1,600 copies out there. Um, but it has been up as we are getting closer to this off season. This is a card that is going to be very interesting to watch. As it's going to be, uh, its valuation is going to be determined based on how Josh Allen plays during the season, as well as the Buffalo Bills. So this is one card to keep an eye on as the weeks. And and months unfold coming in at sexy number seven we have got the 2019 bowman chrome gunner henderson autograph psa 10 rookie and ooh, this card has shot up in value guys population 116 so the really the only thing that's knocking this is that there's not a lot of sales volume out there the reason why gunner henderson is so hot is because depending on which prospect hot list you look at he is ranked number one and boy oh boy look at them sales charts right there that is a straight up boner arrow boys and girls that is a morning woody sign that we ain't ever seen in the sports card market in a long 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 time but gunner is bringing the wood and he's swinging the wood because this guy is now a top prospect in baseball again it depends on the list that you look at it's either corbin Carroll, it's either francisco alvarez it's either gunner henderson one of the two or three or four depending on which list that you look at but look at these sales we're talking about a card that in the off season when cards were at their peak this was a card that was $211 in March of 2022, $162 in April. Oh boy, stock market's crashing. Let's bail out of cards. Nope, don't bail out a gunner because we got a $735 sale. Yes, that's just one. That's just one sale that has been captured. But if we're looking at some of the parallels, it gets even bigger than that. So Gunner Henderson is one of the biggest movers. Unfortunately, I don't have any of his stuff. Was not on him, uh, but congratulations to all those people who have capitalized on Gunnar Henderson. Coming in at number six, guys, I'm confused. Are we in 2017 or is it 20, 2017 all over again? Remember All Rise, the Summer of Love with Aaron Judge? Oh my gosh, we have got a repeat five years later. Aaron Judge is driving the baseball card world crazy with this home run chase. And I've got to include this card on this list. 2017 Bowman Chrome. Aaron Judge rookie. This is his true rookie with the rookie logo. And this is a card that has been uh, really trending up the entire offseason. Uh, population 1445. It's from one of my favorite sets, 2017 Bowman Chrome. Love, love, love this design, the set. Uh, and also, quality was great. Um, if we look at this graph, of course, it's going to be a scatter plot all over the place. PSA's data is going to be a little bit dirty, probably with some refractors and autographs included in there. But if we zoom in right there, we see this card in early March. This is a $72 card before the season, and now we're already up to $170. That's just looking at PSA data. If we start looking at eBay sales data, we've got some sales that are ticking over $200 uh, at auction and also via buy it now. Yes, it, there is a lot of variability in terms of uh, how, how these cards are selling, but this card is something that is definitely trended up. If Aaron Judge breaks this record, boys, whew, look out. But this is definitely one that has had a lot of movement. Coming in at number five, and in retrospect, I probably could have flicked Gunner, flipped Gunner and Corbin here, but I've got the Corbin Carroll 2019 Bowman Chrome Autograph PSA 10. Just as I've been talking about previously, depending on what prospect hot list you look at, it is either Corbin Carroll, it is either Gunnar Henderson, or it's Francisco Alvarez, or it could be somebody totally different, Jordan Walker, who knows, it's like every single monthly update we've got somebody different, but what that means is, is we've got three to four number one prospects that we can all make a little bit of money on. But if we're looking at these prices, 
Pop 83 on this Corbin Carroll. There's not many of them out there. So again, kind of similar with Gunnar Henderson. But look at this. It's not as strong of a morning Woody as we saw with old Gunnar over there. But we're still getting some pretty good upward action here. We've got a card that was $320 in the offseason. And now it's up to $645. Um, it does seem like there's a lot more movement in the Corbin Carroll market. Not just with this card, but also some of his base cards. And also his Bowman's Best autographs. That's why I'm really including it a little bit higher than the Gunnar Henderson, but there is no right or wrong answer. Both of these cards are on fire. We're getting a lot more hype with Corbin Carroll than we are with Gunnar Henderson. As we're some people out there making Mike Trout comparisons in terms of the speed and also the power, all in a very compact package. This guy's very small. He is bucking the trend in terms of being able to do what he is doing on the baseball field with his size. So this is definitely one that has moved up and it may continue to go up along with Gunnar Henderson as we move forward in the coming months. Coming in at number four, you know what I love about this list? It is dominated by baseball. Football and baseball, they're just hot. Like The guys who are doing well in baseball are getting rewarded in the market, and it makes me so happy. MVP candidates are being rewarded. Aaron Judge, Paul Goldschmidt, and speaking of Paul Goldschmidt of the NL of the Cardinals, his 2011 Tops Update PSA 10 rookie is still one of the hottest cards in the market today. PSA 10's consistently selling in the $240 range. Uh, with a population of $1,355, there's still probably some Jim Mint copies out there whenever you do a comparison looking at that in the Mike Trout card. It just really depends on whether or not people took care of those Pauls. But again, look at the history here. This card has historically been maybe a $40 to $50 card back in the day. Uh, just and then pandemic really didn't even have that much of an effect because Paul uh, Goldschmidt was not getting that hyped. Um, maybe have peaked right around 100 to 125 at the very peak of sports cards. Then we saw a little bit of a drawback back to a normal level. But now look at that up arrow right there. Woo! $63 in the offseason, $81 in the offseason for spring training hype. And now this card has tripled in value because Paul Goldschmidt has pretty much locked up his MVP case in the National League. So definitely a card that is done very, very well, and we'll see where it goes from here. I'm predicting that's probably going to level off right about here. I don't see it going up that much further unless he does repeat MVPs or repeat uh, awards with the Cardinals. Coming in at number three, and this is a guy who has been competing for the shortstop position with the New York Yankees. Seems like this is going to be a New York Yankees heavy list. It is Oswald Perez's 2020 Bowman Chrome Autograph PSA 10. Again, not a lot of value out there, but... Then the past 24 to 48 hours, Oswald Pereza was called up to the Yankees. So with that, there's going to be a huge boom to his card. So if you have any of these laying around, now is the time to capitalize. This is going to be one of those short window plays. If we look back to this card, even just within the past month, we're seeing sales in the 142 to, to range for PSA 10s. Uh, difficult to really find this data within PSA's database. So you kind of have to go over to eBay and take a look to see what the sales history looks like. But even just going back, Two weeks ago, we're looking at a $200 sale. Uh, early August, we're even looking at, again, that $142 sale, $162. So this card was not really doing that much, but now we see some sales popping off in that three to 350 range. So it's almost an immediate overnight boost. This is what happens when prospects are called up. Doesn't matter. Oswald Perezo was not really getting that much hype. Uh, again, Anthony Volpe is the shortstop of the future for the Yankees. Um, but again, Oswald Perezo gets called up, and he is going to have to get some playing time. But this just shows the power of baseball prospecting. It's unlike anything else out there. I don't have any of these cards uh, or really that many cards on this hot list. So um, kudos again to those out there who have played this very well and have some of these, and hopefully you cash it. So coming in at number two, I told you guys this is going to be Yankee heavy. I'm not a Yankees fan whatsoever, but they are calling up the entire farm, by golly. Oswaldo Cabrera 
was called up two weeks ago. And again, I don't know really what these Yankees are doing because they're calling up two shortstops. Yes, Oswaldo Cabrera can play other positions. I think he plays either second base or third base, but they're calling up everybody out there. So as soon as they called him up, uh, his stuff also shot up like crazy. So his 2022 Bowman Chrome uh, PSA 10, and then if you, even if you look at all the color, I mean, a lot of this stuff was not really popping off. We're looking about a, at a PSA 10 that was $100 at the end of July. And now as we're progressing upwards through August, you can see some of the sales for a lot of the color. Again, because uh, going through PSA, it's very cost prohibitive. Not a lot of base was submitted. So what you're really seeing off is the color that's starting to pop off. But again, it, it highlights uh, the interest in this card. So PSA 10 here on August 19th, 369. Uh, there was one that uh, sold uh, PSA 10 was not, uh, it was listed incorrectly. It's like one sentence, not smart. $232. But again, you have some other ones popping off here. Buy it now best offer um, and a lot of interest in the color so this guy's uh, coming into the number two list so that's three Yankees that are in the top 10 but now who is going to be the number one player on the hot list let's find out so coming in at number one we are sticking with the Yankees and we are going back to Aaron Judge it is this 2017 tops chrome Aaron Judge PSA 10 rookie and this card is in fuego. It's hotter than the Bowman Chrome card, which to me is a little bit of a disservice because the Bowman Chrome card has a lower pop and it's a better image and it's just a better card. But Topps Chrome is a brand that has legacy. Uh, so does Bowman Chrome, but it just seems like Topps Chrome is what people have been gravitating towards a lot recently. This card has a population of 4,400, so 4,433. So there's a lot of these out there, which is really limiting the price. There are some variations and, of course, the, the parallels, which are plenty. But if we're really looking at these graphs, look at the data here. This card in the offseason season. $73, very similar to the Bowman Chrome, but you can see the slow rise, all rise, slow rise, and we have gotten this card all the way up to over $200. It's very difficult to look at the PSA data, but if we flip over to eBay, we are consistently above that 225 mark, sometimes hitting $300. So we're talking about a card that was $70 in the off season, now upwards to 225, sometimes 300. Just really depends on when the data points are going. So this is a card and look at the quantity that are trading at this volume. I mean, it is insane. So if you look at the trade volume here, uh, 1481 sales for over $100,000 uh, and within PSA's time frame that's been captured here. That's definitely a tick up, uh, at least within the past couple months. We're definitely seeing a lot more interest. Aaron Judge, 50-plus home runs already. He is one of the few players in MLB history that has multiple 50 home run seasons. And 62 is within reach, guys. It is not over, but also the MVP race is not over. Shohei Otani... I really wanted to put him on this list. Unfortunately, there's no card that is really moving uh, and making a lot of noise. There's a lot of interest, there's a lot of sales volume, there's a lot of stuff that is selling, but nothing that is moving the needle in terms of price-wise. There's just a lot of stuff selling. So yeah, Shoei Otani is a hot, hot player. But there's been no specific card that has been hot for him, as opposed to Aaron Judge, where there are pockets of hot cards uh, where he really wasn't that hot last year. Otani was in fuego last year. So trying to move the needle even more than what Otani did last year, it's a lot tougher. Uh, Aaron Judge had a somewhat down year in the hobby last year so he is rebounding in a big way and there's a lot of people that could have capitalized on that with this as shown in the hot list so guys thank you for tuning in let me know what you guys think down below in the comments did i include everybody did i miss somebody no i did not reference card ladder this is all knowledge from my head so if there's anything out there that i missed let me know that way i can clue into it and i'll be on this for the next month all right guys we'll see you guys